Hello there, welcome back to the FM League with me, your host with the most, YouTube's Dr. Benji Flamboyant as ever. Uh, so, there's no highlights, so we'll go straight into some games. Uh, a lot of goals this week, and uh, I've got a chat coming up later on with Kevani, Evolving Mick, and Second Yellow Car. But let's first see the league leader in action against Work the Space. Uh, it's Kevani versus Work the Space, right now. The games were. I feel right here already, Royce. Lamella, <gasps> we took the lead already. With the. T oh, he's, he's offside! No, I don't believe it! I thought we took the lead. Damn it, that's a good start though. That's a ball. Here's Royce. One more. Philip Blam. Can he whip a ball in? He can. Sturridge! Yes! It's 1 0. There it is. It's Daniel Sturridge. Finally, we score and break the deadlock. 1 0 to the Kevani army. Lovren. Why is Lovren. To I've not set up my free kick taters. Jordan Rhodes! Rhodesy, Rhodesy boy. Right, let's quickly. Sorry, Jake, I'm doing a lot of tactical changes, but I feel like this one may be essential. Tim. Thank you, Tim. Tim Howard, MVP right now. We're even using American terminology to appreciate his greatness. But that is the end of 90 minutes. That's the end of the game. It is a one all draw. Um, I think, statistically, actually, we probably dominated. We were at half time anyway, yeah. I mean, it's been a quite entertaining 1 1, you'd have to say. A somewhat surprising 1-1 draw there for Kivani. Uh, Work the space doing very well to pick up a point. Uh, we move on though, from the bottom to the top, or from the top to the bottom. Uh, Rick Malloy took on Matt from Second Yellow Card. Uh, five goals in this game. Let's see just about how it went down. Just about how it went down. What a weird way of phrasing an introduction to a match. Anyway, watch it. Out to Adam Lalana. Uh, notice Oscar has also dropped, but you would have obviously heard me just talk about that with Rick. Um, Lalana out wide, whips it in, and that's gone to no. Oh my god, what the hell happened there? Oh my life, he's going to be so annoyed. Is there a man over? There is, it's Diego Costa. Can we take a 2-0 lead? What is Czech doing again? Oh my goodness. It is 2-0 to Christ on a bike FC. Oh my lord. That's it, mate. You're off. Oh, word. Pet a bloody check. What are you doing? He goes to Bushi with the throw to Matic. He goes to Bushi again. Come on, please. Matter. Takes a touch, gives it back to Dabushi, back inside to Mata. Neymar on the turn, Van Persie, empty net. We pull one back. Barry, can he find a pass? Barry, Peanut, Terry, of all people, and it is 3-1 to Christ on a Bike FC, and I don't believe it, but John Terry, of all people, has just scored for us, and now we are right back in this, and right back in front. And that's a good ball through, and Van Persie's onto this here, and uh-oh. Uh-oh, please let me a red card for Robert Huth. Van Persie went down like he'd been shot. Oh, is the last man? Oh, you're joking. Oh, no. Yeah, there he goes. See you later, Robert. Right, Van Persie with the corner. Corker, Chiriches, Corker again. 3-2. Ooh. The 10 men of Christ on a Bike FC look to have done it, and i absolutely gutted for Rick. 3-2 defeat. Same scoreline as the last game. Nightmare start from Czech has cost us dearly. That was an absolute full-blown fluke. So, still without a win is Rick Malloy. Um... Hopefully he'll get it. You know, he's my dark horse for the competition. He's still without a win, but I think he could do it. Uh, so let's move on. Uh, obviously, last week, mentioning uh, me and Sissical Approach, we didn't play our match. Uh, we played it in the week. If you saw it on our channels there, you will know the result. He he beat me pretty comfortably. We won't talk about the result. Let's just, put, let's just say he won. It was a close match. Uh, anyway, he was going up against the inform evolving Mick, uh, who has been in hot, hot streaking action. I don't know. That sounds That's made it sound weirder than it was supposed to. Anyway, uh, let's see how they got on when they faced off. Just get it to Ronaldo. Go on. Go on, go on. Oh, Sissoko. Oh, how has he not scored that? Corner again. William, can we make something of this? Back into William. The chance. Cut it back to Cavani. Cavani keeps up his goal scoring record. It's 1 0. Into Cavani again. Into William. It's two. Quick fire goals. Quick fire goals from us. Lamps to Ozil. To Cavani. Into William, this is a chance. Can William take it? He can! 3 0. Go on. Oh, Ronaldo, yet again. You have been rubbish, son. Go on, go on. Oh, Song popping up with a cheeky goal. 27 minutes on the clock. And we're still in with a chance here. Is that a pen? Is that a penalty? It is? Get in! 3 2, right. We can do this. We can do this. Surely, surely. Get in, David Silva, is he onside? It is. Oh, no, it's not. Here. Oh, oh, no. Go on. Oh, song. Ronaldo, hit it, hit it. Oh, you are kidding me. 
goal line scramble here on the cleared it. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. What's happening? Oh, clear it. Clear it. Oh, thank God. At Wembley Stadium, Nick's done me, but I thought our boys did me proud. I was pretty happy with that. We've been beaten. So there it is. That win has taken Mick to the top of the table, as you can see, uh, on my left-hand side. Okay, see my right-hand side. My left, your right. Um, you know, it's, it's difficult to, to know which in many occasions. Anyway, uh, moving on. So it took us to the last game. It was Golden FM versus yours truly. And, uh, yeah, I, I almost don't want to show you the highlights, but we better have a look. Look how blocked. Good defending. Now, of course, he's got this strange formation, which may confuse my defence. Oh, Falcao scores! <laughs> Oh, complete cock up from them at the back. 30 seconds in, I get an early goal. Now we're looking for our floating Jimmy Rods and, and Suarez, our two of the best track teachers in the game. Luis Suarez, front post. That move to Barcelona was well worth it. Falcao tackled. Penalty? Is it penalty? Yes. Absolute poppycock. Messi fires at home. 2 1. Off the bench to score. On, oh boy. Out to the back post. Penalty kick. Come on. Yes. Jimmy Rod. Yes! Yes! Jimmy Rod! Not Jimmy Rod, but we'll take it. And we're back in the game. 2 2. Well done, Gibbs. Nothing stupid now. Hazard to Falcao. Through to Messi. Come on, lad. Surely this time, yes! It's a goal. Is it an own goal? It is an own goal. Mangala tackled him. Messi. Come on, Messi. This time, Falcao. Oh, it's a goal. I don't know if that's another own goal, but. It may be. It's Falcao's second goal of the game. Jackson takes it. Benteke scores. Oh, my ta my corner change has worked. Is that a tactical masterpiece from me? Or? I don't know. I mean, I feel like looking back now, I should have taken you more seriously. So, folks, I'm joined for another round table. Uh, there's not as many people this week, but we've got Mick, Matt and Jake. Uh, there's been a change at the top this week, Mick. You're, you're, you're up there. What's happened? You there? I don't know, I've, I've seemed to have rose to the summit. I'm very, very happy about it, to be honest. The promised land has been met. You've, been threatening, land. you've been threatening the top of the table for a while now, and you finally pinched it off JKK after beating Stat Up. Yeah, hopefully coming good at the right time, you know, as we draw to the end of the league system, if I can stay up there for the remainder of quality. So, your game against Lukey, um, you, you're back on, well, I say you're back on winning form. Uh, you're always yeah. on winning form. But one of a, a tougher game for you, only three goals. Disappointing. Yeah, a different kind of game, I think, from one I've experienced so far. It was more of a fight and a battle than a, than a morning, so it's nice to know that we can win both ways if need be, you know? So, Win both ways if needs be. Well, you know, you've not always dug in and got the victory, have you? Nope. I did a little right. smile to camera there, you know? Okay. Do you know what Again, we're referencing no. there? Yeah, no, no, fair play. I can't, <laughs> I've got no excuse. To be fair, I wasn't lucky. Oh, I come was, on. I was unlucky. Not this again. We had this last week. Um, moving on, oh, speaking of unlucky, Jake, you've slipped down. You've uh, you've you've drawn with work the space. Disappointingly, too. Cause well, yes. That game out of probably some of them that I shouldn't have won. I think I should have won that one. To be fair. Unlucky, unlucky. Uh, yeah, unlucky all again. This un all this unlucky nonsense. You just, frankly, boys, you're just not good enough. And if if there's one man in this competition right, that knows about there. not being good enough, <laughs> it's probably me. Down there, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> So, to be fair though, Jake, you keep your uh, your unbeaten run. You've not been you've not been beaten yet. You've got a couple of draws yeah. and a majority of wins. Uh, mm -hmm. Is it three wins, two draws? I think so. So things not. things to be fair are still looking pretty good for you. You're, yeah, st you're still um, the favourite. Yeah. Well. Mm, <laughs> um, to be fair, being in second isn't as bad because it takes a bit of pressure off myself. I think. Yeah. I think whoever wins the league is going to have them have the pressure on them. I'm not saying I wouldn't like to win the league. Obviously, I would, but. Mm. Um, yeah. You are the favourite, so you know you've got. According to who? According to the bookies. Okay. You are so the favourite. Ben Fair. Ben Fair. Ben Fair. Dot com. Um, <laughs> yeah. Fair. All bets are in the description down below. Um, so you two are you two are battling for it. I'm going to get a, an answer, straight answer, from Matt, just to cause some controversy. Matt, who's uh, who's going to win it out of Jake and Mick? Uh, Paul. <laughs> okay then. Okay then, Matt. We've got a comedian on this week. Matt the Comedian's here. We've got part-time model Paul Holden who couldn't make it. We've got Mick and Jake who are just unlucky. And then we've got, we've got full-time comedian, second yellow card, has rolled in. So, you've uh, you've won another game. I have. That made me Would laugh. You so, you know, you're there you go. I'm doing my job. Um, you, you beat me, then you got absolutely trounced by um, Mick, and then you've gone and won again. I have. But not without casualties. No, well, you say. I mean, the main casualty is not so much Robert Huth not playing, but Jonas Olsen having to play. 
well, you know, there's always going to be, if there's going to be one man rising, there's always going to be one man falling. And Jonas Olsen has got his big break. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah, but he's also got cement shoes, and I, I don't know, it, it's going to be tough, but we may have to change our tactics up a little bit. Yeah, the, the John Terry Jonas Olsen partnership. Who do you play next? Sorry, I should know this really, as I'm kind of in charge, but who do you play next? I play Luke. Oh, so Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Against Terry and Olsen. Oh. Yeah. It's also got I Alexis mean, Sanchez and Sterling. I should point that out now. Well, if we ignore Alexis Sanchez and Sterling for now, if well, Olsen and Terry take one leg each... Let's not ignore them. Then that's six legs on a few people. So what are you going to do? Are you going to combat the force of statistical approach? He's given Mick a very good game, and he's he's given me a bit of a once-over as well. I so, dominate him. So. Well, Jake, Jake, you dominate everyone, to be fair. Because you're not as unlucky as Mick. That's true. All right, Matt, I'm unlucky. All right. Well, Matt... Uh, coming up this week, then you've got your game, your big match. Uh, do you fancy yourself in it? It's hard to say. Like <laughs> every time I think I'm going to win a game, I end up drawing or getting absolutely spanked. And every time I think this is going to be a massively tough one, I win it. So yeah. perhaps if I use reverse psychology on myself and think that I'm going to get mullered, then hey, maybe I'll win five nil. Well, as you know, you know, Lukey. Whatever happens, there'll be celebrations and anguish. I think we'll look forward to that. Uh, moving <laughs> on to you, Mick. Yes, sir. Another big game for you. Uh, time to yep. get the goals back in the back of the net because you've been, you know, you were, you were slouching next week. You play Paul, do you not? Yeah. So that is going to be quite the battle. Paul's in a rich vein of form, coming mm-hmm. against the destroyer, which is Mick Mar Junior. Um, how do you fancy your chances? Uh, I'm quietly confident. I mean, I think it's quite an advantage to have the top two rivals with me uh, at the end of the season because effectively, I suppose, I can draw with Paul. And then whatever Jake does, it will mean me and Jake on the last day. Whoever wins does take the lead. Okay, well, so, <laughs> so do you? Okay, but do you think you're going to beat Paul? That's the big. That's, I want answers, Mick. I don't want. I, I think. Don't, I, oh, no, I, I think I could beat anyone on my day. It's just. I don't care about the day. Are you beating Paul Holden into a bloody pulp? Uh, I'll, I'll do the. I'll do the. It worked for Jack. Yeah, five one. Five, five one. one. Thank you very five much. Minutes, five this call's coming in. That's him. There, he's going. Oh, what are you saying about me? Um, <laughs> so, Jakey, we'll move on to you. Uh, you play a team that's been struggling in the FM League and uh, this week they may well be under new management though I, we can't confirm at this point I've heard a rumour you've heard rumours that um, I've heard that too I've heard it too have you heard it Matt have you heard it I've heard it from the horse's mouth it's the, don't call it that I mean <laughs> <laughs> that's a horrible thing to well I can't believe he's just said that um, ok so Jakey is it going to be a change of strategy going to this knowing that you won't actually be facing me there'll be someone else in the dugout um, no, I'll keep it out. It is. I've not lost, so I'm not going to change it for now. Confident, confident. I don't know if you know, but she is a. She's got a hundred percent record so far. Yeah. In football management on the she game. Played against me though. No, she's no. not played against you. But if, no. you've not got a hundred percent win ratio. No, but I'm not lost. That, that Christ formation, though. The Christ, the Redeemer. Christ, the Redeemer. Christ, the Redeemer. Do the, do the viewers know who it is? Shall we reveal right now? Yeah, do it. So in this week's game, I've I've taken gardening leave, and I will be uh, handing the reins over to the one and only Kukuriki's very own Ellie Curtains. So it'll be Ellie Curtains versus. Kate is this Barney. where I've got to talk a bit of trash talk now? Well, feel free. She's not here. Well, but... she'll hear it. All I can say is Ellie, I'm a really big fan. I can't wait to play you. Wow, he's what he's done there is flirt to try and get his way. The thing is, Jakey Cave, we talk about Paul Holden being the part-time model. Jakey Cave is like, he's, he's an up-and-comer on that scene. He's I, a boyer. In a model-off, actually, Jake, forget, we'll just talk modelling for a second here, because me, Matt and Mick know a lot about modelling. So let's, uh, let's, let's have a chat about it. Who would win in a model-off out of the elegant Jakey Cave and the rugged Paul Holden? Uh, hang on, question for you, Jake. How are you at peering out from behind trees? I'm not sure. I've never done it, but there's a first time for everything, I suppose. So. I'll reference a picture. Yeah, that's, that's Paul Holden there. Looking at I'm going to do it. I'm doing excellent. that. If not we can tonight. get, if we can no. get a copy of you doing it for next week's show, mm-hmm. then that'd be great. Because do you play Paul last week? Or you played him, haven't you? No, I've played him already. Uh, well, I still want to see what you look like behind a tree. I'll, I'll do it. I, I've got to deal with that this week. I think part of his part of his appeal and part of his success is the intimidation of it's the, the It's the aura of Holden, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, he's in my head already. I mean, I said five one, but I'm literally bricking it inside. I don't believe that. I'm trying to psych myself up. Yeah, the women love him. He's always got a cuddly toy on hand. Like yeah. the puffin is, is the power of the puffin, as he likes to put it. Um, so who do we think though? In the, in the model off, we'll do a vote. Uh, Matt, we'll start with you. Oh, until Jake can prove that he can peer up from behind a tree, it's got to be Paul. 
Mick, your boy yeah. KV, he's, he's one down. Jay, Jay is my boy, but again, until he's proven to me, I can't only go on what I've seen, and Paul's got that look down, you know, so... Do you know what, it's three yeses. It's I'm going it's, to it's, prove you all wrong. It's a clean sweep, Holden takes it in the model off, this week's model off. Uh, in the chat, who do you think's better looking, Jake Cave or Paul Holden? Didn't think I'd be asking that at week five or six, or whenever this is. Um, <laughs> but we are doing. Who's better looking out of Jake and Paul? Uh, well, that wasn't, no, that wasn't the question. The question wasn't who's better looking, it's who's better at looking out from a tree. No, no, it's the model off, Jake. It's all right, about I'm the looks. About this. It's not about the tree. I'm not, I don't care about the quality of your tree. It's about how you look behind the tree. It's about the man behind the tree, That's Jake. not who's better looking overall. It is. No, it's not. Paul has got magnificent cheekbones. I've got he a good does. jawline. You, you could open a, a can with those cheekbones. Thank you, Matt. I'm finding a tree. I'm finding a tree. Right now. It's a bit dark, actually. Okay. You, well, find, you find that tree and I think it will definitely settle a few debates because then we've got a comparison to go on. This was a football manager league at one point. It's now turned into trees and modelling. Uh, so next week we'll be talking about floristry as well as the weather. Uh, it's going to be quite the show. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there, gentlemen. Uh, it's my pleasure as always to have a chat with you and I'll see you all next week. I, hopefully Ellie Curtains will be available for an interview after she's hammered Jake Cave. <laughs> That's not happening. <laughs> what? See you next week. Uh, so that was nice, wasn't it? We got to have a little chat with a few of the boys. Hopefully a few of the other ones will join me next week. Uh, if they don't, then they'll be out of the FM League and I'll be uh, in the semi-finals on default. So let's hope that happens, actually. Uh, scorers and assists this week. Looking at the top goal scorers. Cavani uh, is not top of the list. Why is it so difficult? Cavani, Messi, Falcao, Sturridge, Ibra Suarez, William and Aguero. And as you can see, a few players there on four goals. Uh, Cavani really is having a tremendous tournament. Um, on the other side, Robin, Falcao, William with five assists. Uh, Mix just cu covering the, the top of the charts, isn't he? Uh, Royce and Lamela for Jakey Cave. Gareth Barry still holds his position for second yellow card. Boney and uh, Cavani there again. Uh, Matter Rhodes, M Rhodes, flipping Rhodes. Messi, Di Maria, and Rooney uh, complete that lineup. I've actually got a player in there. Two players. I can't believe it. Who knew? Uh, the lowest of the low this week. Uh, it's not good. It's not good reading for me. A lot of purple. Uh, Kirichez had an awful game. Uh, I think a 4.9 is potentially the worst rating in the whole league so far, Rick. So, uh, you know, work to be done. Zabaleta and Rojo have let me down. On the other side, overall, Kirichez, he's gone in there. New entry uh, for an overall poor rating. I'm not sure we'll ever see him again, if I'm honest. Uh, and on the other side, you can see a few surprises. There, but Coutinho was a shock to me. No, he's still there, though. Ward, Olsen, Zabaleta. Some familiar names. Uh, a lot of my players have just let me down. But that's all I can say about it. Uh, the top players this week, Falcao. You might not be surprised to see on a 9.1. Uh, Ericsson wasn't too far behind either. And that man again, Cavani, has been... Uh, or Cavani. Yeah, Cavani is so confusing in my own head. Uh, Cahill, William, Rhodes. Rhodes. I get so frustrated when I see his flipping name in orange because you know it's Jacks. Oh, Messi, Ozil, and Winston Reid round out that side. Now on the other side, Cavani still the top performer in the league. Falcao, William, Ozil, Messi, Agro, Eriksson and Robin. Uh, as well as Gary Cahill, who had a very good week this week too. So, where does that leave us all? The full league table, evolving Mick now at the top of the tree, taking the place of Cavani. Uh, Cavani. It's so confusing! Golden FM retains his place in third. Uh, meanwhile, yeah, it's a Canella card and stat up. Rise in the rankings where the only real drop this week uh, was me after playing two games and not winning a single one. Uh, just disappointing, isn't it, really? Very disappointing. On to the week two fixtures. Uh, uploaded on Tuesday will be TTTV2 versus Work the Space and Skill Approach. We're playing second yellow card. Some, uh, some big games there, really big games. Uh, elsewhere, says Dr. Benji, might be Ellie Curtains playing Kevani, uh, and Gordon FM will be playing against Evolving Mick. And as ever, the FM League Show Extra to be hosted by me, yours truly, uh, on Saturday. So, on the, to the Twitters, Matt, Luke, Ben, Paul, Mick, Jake, Jack and Rick. You can find it all there. There'll be links to the channels in the description below if you want to keep up with more of what goes on in the FM League. So that concludes on the FM League Show Extra. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have done, please leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. And from me, Dr. Benji, until next time, stay happy, stay humble, stay classy. Be, be loving with those that you trust. Uh, yeah, that was a weird end, wasn't it? From me, Dr. Benji, goodbye. <laughs>